Hi, welcome to chapter 5, which is about hydrocarbons. So, chapter 5 consists of two subtopics such as alkenes and alkenes. But in this video, I'm going to explain further about subtopic 5.1, which is about alkenes. Stay tuned. Okay, so the next thing that I want you to know is about saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Apa tu saturated hydrocarbons? Saturated hydrocarbons adalah organic compound uh, yang ada carbon-carbon single bonds, okay? Contohnya, alkanes and also cyclic structure of alkanes yang dinamakan sebagai cycloalkanes. Since that, we know carbon ni dia boleh buat maksimum 4 covalent bond. And since that, this is a carbon-carbon single bond. So, uh, as you can see here, saturated hydrocarbons ni dia boleh maximizekan the number of hydrogen atom for each of the carbon compound boleh ada. Okay? Uh, so, these are all the examples of saturated hydrocarbons. Uh, contoh alkane, uh, macam mana dia? This is like a cyclic structure for alkane. Uh, as we can see here, all of these are in skeletal structures. Okay. Uh, so, kalau let's say um, cyclobutane, dia ada empat carbon atoms. Dekat setiap bucur ni, cyclopropane ada tiga carbon atoms and then cyclohexane akan ada 6 carbon atoms untuk each of the uh, apa tu, these carbon atoms dia akan ada 2 hydrogen atom for each of them, ok, just because we know that carbon atoms boleh buat maximum 4 covalent bond next is about unsaturated hydrocarbons unsaturated hydrocarbons adalah organic compounds Yang dia punya carbon-carbon tu ada more than one bond. Okay, dia ada multiple bonds. Carbon-carbon uh, yang ada multiple bonds. Contohnya, um, alkene, cyclo. Alkene, cycloalkene adalah cyclic structure uh, yang ada alkene. Ini ada double bond. Alkynes, triple bond. Uh, triple bond. Aromatic hydrocarbon pula ialah uh, benzene ring lah. Benzene ring ni as kalau let's say dia bagi ring macam ni tapi um, I don't suggest you kalau let's say bila kita masuk chapter benzene untuk you buat macam ni. Okay sebab bila nanti kita nak buat mechanism of benzene it is highly recommended untuk you draw okay the double bond alternately. This is the uh, apa tu benzene uh, benzene ataupun aromatic structure untuk benzene okay. Dia selang seli, carbon-carbon single bond dengan double bond dia. Okay, ni adalah contoh alkene structure. We can see here, this is carbon-carbon double bond. Okay, functional group untuk alkene ialah carbon-carbon double bond. Functional group untuk alkene ialah carbon-carbon triple bond. And then, untuk cycloalkene adalah uh, cyclic structure for alkene. So, uh, dia bukanlah benzene. This is not benzene, this is cycloalkene. Because dia hanya ada... Ah, satu sahaja double bond dekat sini. Kalau benzin dia kena selang seli. Okay. Okay, so let's start with 5.1 first which is about alkenes. Apa tu alkenes? Alkenes adalah saturated hydrocarbons. Okay, just now we have learned that saturated hydrocarbons ni adalah organic compounds yang hanya ada carbon-carbon single covalent bonds. Alright. So, the general formula untuk alkenes adalah CnH2N plus 2 uh, di mana N ni adalah uh, 
apa tu numerical number that you can put starting from one. Okay, kena more than one or equivalent uh, to one. And each carbon atom in alkenes adalah sp3 hybridized. Kenapa dia sp3 hybridized? Sebab kalau dia say uh, carbon carbon single bond, we know that dia ada empat sigma bond. That's why untuk alkene, all of the carbon atoms are sp3 hybridized. And dia adalah tetrahedral. Um, and all of the bond angles are close to 109.5 degree. And the way you want to name the alkenes, uh, ikut the IUPAC nomenclature, kat belakang sekali you kena letak suffix A and E. Okay. Uh, for example, kalau let's see, uh, you ada satu saja uh, carbon atoms. Kita tahu hidrocarbon kalau parent dia ada satu saja carbon, Uh, the the name of the hydrocarbon should be meth, right? Uh, tapi kalau let's say if it is an alkene, so you can letak A and E lah dekat belakang so ni dia jadi methane, okay? Uh, macam ni ada dua carbon atoms uh, therefore uh, kita tahu nama dia akan jadi ethane, okay? So you just need to remember uh, back then kita belajar chapter 4 about uh, naming the parent of your Uh, hydrocarbon, right? Uh, di mana kalau let's ada satu carbon, meth, dua, eth, tiga, prop, four, uh, but. Okay, the way you want to remember this, I don't know, it's up to you. As what I told you, kalau let's say nak tips, you boleh lah guna tips that I have used back then, which is mak kau pakai, but putih, hari-hari orang nampak dashing, uh, something like that. Tapi, if it is an alkene, you just need to put A and E at the back of it. Alright? And here are some of the common substituent groups. As you can see here, uh, tak sebanyak yang I already taught you guys and mentioned to you guys in subtopic 4.1. Uh, sebab ni yang common, so you can have a look at it. As usual, substituent ni adalah macam anak kepada parent of your hydrocarbon. So that's why instead of kita letak A and E sebagai suffix, kita letak YL sebagai suffix. Okay, I think I have been covered this in subtopic 4.1. Okay, what happened kalau your substituent adalah uh, cycloalkene. Okay, these two adalah cycloalkene. Alright. Tapi, tak kisahlah kalau let's say uh, you dapat cycloalkene sebagai substituent sekalipun, it's going to be the same. Bila you nak namakan dia, you kena tukar A and E kat belakang ni Uh, jadi YL because dia bukan parent sudah. Dia dah jadi substituent. For example, kalau let's say you ada uh, cyclopropane sebagai substituent bukan sebagai parent. Okay, the way you want to name it, you have to name it as cyclopropyl. Same goes to this cyclic structure yang ada empat carbon atoms. All of them are single bonds. Okay, instead of we name it as cyclopropyl. Uh, cyclobutane sebab dia jadi substituent dia melekat pada parent sahaja ni uh, ni adalah uh, bond yang dilekat pada parent okay so the way we want to name the substituent we just need to erase the ame suffix at the back and then kita gantikan dengan yl faham tak okay and then next uh, what happen kalau let's say you ada unsaturated hydrocarbon sebagai substituent okay if let's say You ada benzene ring yang jadi substituent, you tak boleh namakan the substituent sebagai benzyl. Okay, you have to name it as phenyl. Ha. Tetapi, kalau benzene ring yang uh, melekat dengan CH2, lepas tu barulah dia attach pada parents. Okay, uh, for example, parents dia kat sini adalah CH, lepas tu uh, CH2, 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 CH3, okay. So, for example, these are the, this is the parents, okay. Uh, ini adalah substituent, di mana substituent dia ialah CH2 yang melekat dengan benzene ring, okay. So, therefore, kita akan namakan substituent tersebut sebagai benzene. 
uh, you need to remember this too lah. Memang ada huge difference. The difference is benzyl adalah substituen benzene campurkan dengan CH2. Uh, phenyl adalah substituen yang hanya ada benzene ring sahaja. Okay, and the next common substituen group that you need to know adalah uh, these groups pula. Okay, for example, kalau let's say you ada parent CH3. CH2, 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 CH, CH3 and then you ada substituen kat atas ni, halogen group. Halogen group, for example lah, BR. BR ke, fluorine ke, fluorine ke, iodine ke, but once all of these halogen groups Okay, once all of these halogen groups dia jadi substituents, the way you want to name it ialah uh, by gantikan, okay, instead of let's say all of these halogens kan, uh, bromine, nama yang sebenar dia bromine, chlorine, ada INE kat belakang kan, instead of INE, you gantikan dengan O at the back of the name of your halogens. Once dia jadi substituent, okay. And then next, what happened kalau let's say um, I ada this parent tapi substituent I adalah OH. Okay, the way I want to name it is uh, this is going to be hydroxyl. Okay, kalau let's say OH jadi substituent, nama dia adalah hydroxyl. Kalau NH3 pula, uh, kalau NH3 uh, jadi substituent, then uh, you the name is going to be Amino. Kalau let's say uh, substituent so adalah CN, C triple bond N, uh, makanya the name of the substituent is going to be Ciano. And lastly, if let's say uh, your substituent is NO2, therefore the name is going to be Nitro. So you can uh, get yourself familiarized uh, with these groups uh, of the common substituent's name, alright?